Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a ton of, I guess you could call it like nesting. Um, I am just getting ready for the baby to come. So I am 39 weeks and I, I just, I want to make sure that our house is like as ready as it can be. And um, I also am doing a lot of cooking prep so uh today's video is just going to be a ton of motivation for cooking and cleaning and making snack ideas and organizing and all of that so i hope you guys enjoy i hope this video gives you a ton of motivation and let's get started so of course before getting started i did start my diffuser i love diffusing all the time but especially during cleaning and organizing because it's really motivating so here i was diffusing thieves and Devana because that is my favorite fall scent and i've really been getting in the mood for fall things lately okay so first i am going to um, get started with cooking and i just wanted to mention that every single week for the past like I don't know probably four or five weeks whenever i cook i would make like double or triple and then freeze some and so today i'm just going to kind of show you what i've done like what i do with that so like today i'm going to make some chicken and wild rice soup and i'm going to double that recipe and then freeze some so i've tried to make the meals that I'm freezing, things that we like, things that freeze easily, and things that are pretty healthy, like have vegetables in them, like chicken and wild rice soup is a really quick thing to just heat up, but it has like celery and carrots and chicken and rice, and so it's a kind of a well-balanced meal for something to quickly heat up. And also, uh, anytime I freeze stuff, I generally freeze it in smaller containers. So even if I'm going to make like lasagna, I freeze, instead of the whole lasagna, I cut it up and freeze it in smaller pieces so that when we want to go eat it later, we don't have to eat like a whole lasagna. So if I want some lasagna, but Michael wants some chicken and wild rice soup, he can just thaw out like one thing of soup and have that. And I can thaw out one thing of lasagna and have that. So that's a tip I would say versus making a large batch and freezing like the whole thing all together. Because sometimes maybe you guys, you aren't like wanting that whole dish, especially for us, there's only two of us. So like when I make a whole lasagna, I don't want to freeze the whole lasagna because like when we go to eat it, we might not be able to eat a whole lasagna by ourselves. Also, this is just a good tip in general for when you're cooking for just two people because, for example, like doubling the recipe for the chicken and wild rice soup, it makes so much sense because then I'm able to use the whole thing of carrots and the whole thing of celery and then just freeze half of it because clearly two of us can't eat that big of a portion of soup. Whereas if I were to make a portion of soup that we could actually eat in one week, just the two of us, without freezing any, then what would I do with the rest of the celery? You know, because I would only need to use like two stalks. So I hope that makes sense. Um, let's go ahead and get started with that cooking.
So I am super lucky and we have an extra freezer in the garage. And so if you open it up, you can see that I have made a bunch of extra stuff. So I have some breakfast sandwiches. I have the chicken and wild rice soup, more breakfast sandwiches, frozen meat. I made tortellini soup that we really liked. Um, I have chicken broth, more frozen meat. I made some enchilada soup, breakfast burritos. And then I actually, my husband's mom gave us some more breakfast sandwiches and some frozen enchiladas. So anyway, as you can see, we are pretty well stocked. There's my stash of tangerine juice. So there's that. So next I was going to make a bunch of different kinds of protein balls. I really wanted to have a ton of high protein, healthy and quick snacks that I can just grab right out of the fridge. So these are made mostly from almond flour, which is just blended almonds. So obviously there's a lot of protein in it. And then it has like hemp seeds and vanilla and cocoa powder. So it's just a pretty healthy snack, but it's really high protein and really easy and quick to grab. So I made these less healthy because I did dip them in chocolate. However, you don't have to do that and I only put a little bit on the top of each ball so it really makes a difference for the taste but it isn't too much chocolate so I was okay with that. Next, I got started on another kind of protein ball I wanted to make, and both of these recipes are from thetoastedpinenut.com. I love her blog and all of her recipe ideas, but I will link these recipes below if you're interested. However, I did, I think I tripled this one and I doubled the first one because like I said, I wanted to have a lot of balls on hand. So when you see how much it is, just know that's not how much the recipe makes, but I did double and triple the recipe. Okay, so I did forget to film the before, but I'm still gonna show you the after. It's not perfect. I still wanna get one of those can organizers, but really like we don't have very many and I feel like I can't put any back there cause they would get lost, which is why I wanna get an organizer. But then I put all of our nut butters in here, all of our baking stuff in here. So we have like honey, vanilla, maple syrup, all of that. And then all of the stuff for baking and it's all labeled and I try to have things reasonably stocked so that if I wanted to make something once he's here we have all of that including like all of the different kinds of nuts and rice this is just miscellaneous um 
stuff. <laughs> Jolly Ranchers, some chocolate, giant bag of peanuts, coconut, and then down here, it's not great, but I did stock up on some extra pasta sauces and pastas. And I have my Young Living Einkorn granola. Um, so yeah, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better and more accessible. And like I said, I did stock these bins up so that if I wanted to make more of those balls or anything, I would have the ingredients to do so. So next I am going to tackle the fridge. It's not too bad, but I want to clean it out and organize it. And I want to wash and prep the fruit that we have. And I just have some groceries I need to put away that we just bought. So here I just show you an up close just to show you that it was actually dirty and I'm not just wiping down a clean fridge. And then here I am just washing off my produce and getting it prepped. I try to do this every week, but I especially want to have it ready for if he comes just to make it easy to just grab snacks and not have to worry about it. Um, it is hard not knowing when he's going to come because granted all of this fruit could be gone before he comes. I don't know. But like I said, I do pretty much do this every week. So either way, when he comes, I'll have some fruit prepped in the fridge. And I always wash my produce off with the Thieves Cleaner because it's plant-based and completely clean of any chemicals or anything. And so that's the only thing I trust to wash my produce with.
so for some reason my camera stopped recording but I did finish cleaning the fridge I don't know why but it didn't film the rest of it but I just wanted to show you so I organized you know our drinks we're brewing some cold brew red raspberry leaf tea and then at eye level I have those balls that I made and some similar bars that I already had and then the fruit I just washed, which I will cover in a second. And then, you know, just food and then stocked up on uh, produce as well. And then on top of that, we do have some more produce over here that doesn't go in the fridge. So for those, I use the Thieves Fruit and Veggie Spray and I just, refill it with this so i bought this once and then now i just refill it with the big one you may have noticed in the last clip that it was dark outside so yeah it did get pretty late so this is actually the next day but i was just continuing my to-do list so i thought i would still include it so here i am cleaning the microwave but it was really not that dirty but I was mostly doing like a deep cleaning because on the outside of the microwave in those vents it really needed to be wiped down and then I'm going to do the same thing in the oven so I'm including this in this video because it's not just basic cleaning but it was like extra additional deep cleaning and obviously I'm just trying to keep everything clean before he comes anyway but here's where you see I uh cleaned those little like slits or vents with a q-tip and it really needed to be done because when I just wipe down the microwave it doesn't quite get it so I'm just using my thieves cleaner and you saw how much stuff it got out it's kind of gross actually and I do the same thing here and it yeah you you might not be able to tell how much like even just like dust like it wasn't like horrible but it was just like dusty and stuff and when i wipe it down normally it doesn't quite get into those crevices So that is actually going to be it for this video. And most likely this will be my last cleaning motivation before baby boy comes. I'm hoping, cause I'm hoping he comes soon. Uh, if not, I will post another one. <laughs> but I hope this motivated you to just get some random cleaning and organizing tasks done and maybe showed you how to freezer clean and prep some healthy snacks in your fridge maybe you're not having a baby but maybe you're just a, have a really busy schedule and wanted motivation to just prep for the week so i hope you enjoyed please subscribe and like this video if you liked it